come the teams then led out by Italy having a good championship two bronze in the bag already Nermi Batki and Chiara Pelacciani Ukraine, Valeria Nielko and Sofia Lishkun. Japan represented by Masuri Alai and Nana Sasaki, two teenagers. Great Britain have Tonya Couch and Lewis Toulson, who already has a silver medal from the 10 meter mixed synchro. Lewis on the left there. Now they've seen the way that the divers are introduced, they all seem to be absolutely loving it. Gabriela Agundes Garcia and Samantha Jimenez Santos representing Mexico. Russia hit the gold standard last night with the man at three meter. Valeria Belova and Yulia Timoshinina will carry Russian hopes here. Canada's girls have a great reputation. Megan Benfeto on the right has got a new diving partner. Rosaline Fillion has retired. Kylie Mackay takes her place. Fourteen-year-old Taryn Gilliland links up with Jessica Palato on the left there. For the United States. Malaysia, too, have high hopes in this event. Pandaleda Rinong Pang is one of their most successful sportswomen. Xiong Yong Hoon alongside her. Taneka Kovchenko and Melissa Wu for Australia. First World Championships for Taneka. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea will be really looking for medals here. The two Kims, Kim Mi Rae and Kim Puk Yang, the Kim Puk Yang, the Kazan champion. Individual competitions. Ren Qian, one of the new breed of superstars for China, and Xi Yaji as well. Two teenagers, this is a big hitting combination. experienced girls will not really have uh, enjoyed much more glitzy presentations than they are getting here in Budapest quite right too off behind the scenes to prepare and compose themselves China will not be surprised to know have dominated since this event was introduced back in Perth in 1998. Ukraine, Shubina and Sobina won the first title. It's been all China since. But, of course, they have lost their trump card in Chen Raolin. She won the last five titles on the platform in synchro events, but she has stepped aside. <laughs> Judges, remember, separated out into execution and synchronization teams. There's a lot to watch.
preliminary competition was held this morning. 16 teams came into it. Batki and Pelachani just scraped home by 0.18, aching out the Netherlands, Janssen and Van Dijn. Korea, Republic of Korea, that is Germany and Colombia also missed out on tonight's final. And of course they dive in reverse order from how they finished. China were just under 10 points clear of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in the qualifier, but they all start from scratch again. It's a massive arena, this 15,000 get in here for the swimming. Big Chinese contingent here. But uh, all these supporters really can make some noise when their boys or girls are out there and in the hunt. It's one of those sports where the crowd falls silent and then erupts after. The competitors have performed each individual dive. So only two countries have won gold. Ten have appeared on the podium. Australia third most successful after the two gold medal winners. They've had four silvers in the past. Remember the first two rounds of diving, the competitors perform 2.0 tariff dives before the final three rounds open out into free choice of performance. Off we go then with Batki and Pellacciani from Italy with an inward dive. Point position. These need to be executed pretty flawlessly to give the competitors a chance to Gain an edge here. Eight and eight fives, 48-60. That's a good solid opening. If you can get through 50 on these rounds, you're doing pretty well. Yulko and Liskun from Ukraine. First World Championships for Lyulku and Liskun. We will be 17, it's going 15. Great, picking up a bronze in the men's three meter synchro. It's even better than the Italians. Japan have Matsuri Arai and Nana Sasaki. They have a forward dive pint here.
Japan have won one bronze back in 2001 in Fukuoka. Miyazaki and Otsuki did the home crowd proud. 50-40, 8 8.5 to 1.8. Guides getting better each time. Couch and Tulson. British camp would be buoyed by their medal performance in the mixed 10 metre synchro. Matty Lee and Lewis there picking up the silver. Back dive. there. Forty-seven forty. Number seven fives. Bundes and Jimenez from Mexico. He's never won a medal in this event. World Championships, these girls, all atmosphere and the standard is a, a big step up. Coach has a big job in between these dives, a bit of tutoring, a bit of encouraging, and almost a paternal role as well because Many of these competitors are very young indeed. 44-40 is their first score. Valeria Belova and Yulia Timoshinina. Timoshinina is the more experienced of the two, even though she's only 19. events here, three 10 metres, both synchros are mixed in the women's, which is also in the team event, these extra events giving divers a lot more opportunity. Seven forty eight in general. Ben Fato, three Olympic bronze medals from the platform, two of them in the synchronized events, world championships, three silver and a bronze, or synchro events, but a new partnership for her. Canadian girls are the strength of their team. The boys doing their best to catch up. Be strong at three meters as well, led by Jennifer Abel. Forty-nine eighty. Good start.
leadership. Jessica Parato, formerly diving with Amy Kosad, now has the young girl from Texas, who's already competed in the mixed 10 meter synchro with Andrew Capo Bianco, finished 10th. Very clean start as well for the American team. That reverse dive point. Gilliland on the right. Nine eighty synchronization marks. Chung Yung Ku and uh, Pang Pandalela. Fifth World Championships for Pang. Third for Chung. wrong there was there 53 40 that's the best opening dive top quality and again a different partnership for Australia Melissa Wu in her fifth world championships on the right there partnered with Taneka Kovchenko here back dive point for the Australians. in the judging for these opening dives. Another good execution there. 49.80. Only one team, two teams getting over 50 so far. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Kim Mirae, Kim Kuk Hyang. Sound as they enter the water. Very small and neat physically. Don't see too much of them in uh, competition around the circuit, but when they come out and emerge for the big ones, they produce 50 40. Pedigree duo from China, Ren Qian. Already with one gold in the mixed synchro with Yan Yunyi, Si Yaji as well. The individual Olympic silver medalist. Two golds already in her collection. to be some quality as the rounds tick by you suspect see so Yoshi is the older of the two at 18 
53.40, only one eight point five in there. So the first round of diving in the women's 10 meter synchro final. China straight to the top, jointly with Malaysia, Japan, a very good start, and also the Korean team. All very tight though. Eight teams getting 49 or more. Organize these competitions are with the divers already lined up and ready to go. Batki and Pilachani will start our second round. We're still on dives with a 2.0 degree of difficulty. Batki nearest the camera here back dive After their opening dive, Liuku was 12th in the mixed synchro yesterday with Maxim Dolgov. Another well performed dive. Smart start by Ally and Sasaki for Japan. Sasaki is also an individual competition for Ally. This is her World Championship day. Another well produced dive. Forward dive got them 50 40. The back dive here. Pike trying to match each other for the pace with which they bring the arms back and into the entry position. You can tell from that front angle, just got the one that judges get. Just a little bit quicker through the air. They have to judge that from the side. 49 80 though. for Great Britain. Tony Couch at 28. One of the most experienced divers in the British team. This is her only event though. Back in 10th. Acceptable Olympic Games in Rio, fifth at 10 meters. Forty-seven, forty. Same again. Thank you. 
Mexico had the weakest of the opening dives with just 44-40. And the back dive, this time it's the reverse dive, again piked. Sixty executions be improved a little bit. Belova uh, anti machinina. Anti machinina's second competition here in Budapest, fourth with Minibayev in the mixed. on the left 28 years of age the seventh world championships definitely the senior partner here and Ben Feta with Filion have been 10 meter synchro silver medalists Last two championships, Kazan and Barcelona. A big act for the guy to follow, 48 points. Parato on the left of the American team. It's from New Hampshire originally, but Indiana University was her college where most of their sporting activities are based, of course, in the States. Oh, some of it. A little bit awry there. Now <laughs> that shout, whether it was one of the spectators or the competitors. Bit of drift there with the arms coming down into the entry position. Still got a decent mark. Eight the synchronization, 46 80. Malaysia, joint leaders. And a fine opening dive. 53 40 they. Racked up with the reverse dive. Now they've got the back dive. And the pike, of course. <laughs> Cleanly delivered. Do a bit of mix and matching the Malaysians. Pandalela has been with uh, Munyi in uh, previous occasions as well. Before teaming up with Kyong. It's a 
another very good dive indeed, 53-40. Same again. Australia, Kopchenko and Wu. First dive here. Been diving in the all pre events to get experience and teamwork going. And third in the Gatto Grand Prix in their home country, of course. Sorry, in Canada. Australians there, another good dive, 50-40. Two Kims for People's Republic of Korea to the north of the divide. Reverse dive here, 50-40 their first mark. together cutting an entry path through the water 50 40 same again to 50 plus marks it's a very solid start and China also like Malaysia produced a 53 40 with Renqian and Si Ya Ji from Chengdu and Sushan. C is based in Beijing but from Xi'an. Fifty-three forty last time, fifty-two eighty. Great synchronization marks. Restricted rounds out of the way in this women's 10 meter synchro final. Malaysia just marginally ahead of China, and then the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in third place. Five teams got over 100, but you can see the gap is minimal really. Now the restrictions come away. Not a huge disparity in the points available in terms of the degree of difficulty for all the dives. Range between 2.8 and 3.2. Italy start the third round. Batki and Pelacani there. Throwing themselves into a forward three and a half somersault height. 3.0 is the degree of difficulty. Good pike positions. Heavy on the entries. 6480. Marks down in the six and a half to seven and a half. Neil 
Kuzmenko and Lee Schoon from Ukraine. Seventh. They have a 3.2 back two and a half somersault, one and a half twists, piked 3.2, which is their biggest dive. And that one did not go to plan at all. Just gone on the far side there. Never completed the dive, really. Put it behind them, a 3.5, 53.76. Disappointing for them. So hard when they dive as a team. There's no hiding place in this, that's for certain. Malai and Sasaki produced two very strong opening dives. Malai is one of the smallest divers in the championships is only four foot eleven, one point fifty meters. Some of the best things come in small bundles, of course. Sixty-six thirty-six, four eights. and Toulson for Great Britain down in 10th place. They have a forward three and a half somersault piked. 3.0. Counts the senior partner on the far side as we looked at it there in the seventh world championship Wilson, one of the young generation of british divers coming through but only 17. from opposite ends of the country tony couch is from plymouth tom daly's Home town, of course, 68 40 for the return. On the points there. Decent for Yorkshire. Mexico, Gundes and Jimenez. Four with three and a half somerset, somersault pike for them. Same dive. Stopping the rotations was the problem there, I think. Entry is a bit heavy from both girls. Russia sixth after the first round. Set forward three and a half, a somersault piked again. And all the remaining divers using that dive. Entries 
getting a little untidy. 63. now have to reproduce that dive. Confeto, like nearly all the Canadian squad, is from Quebec. Unusually, Mackay isn't. Mackay on the far side. It's quite open that Ben Fato was her big idol with Jennifer Abel there, one of the Canadian three metre stars. See Ben Fito rotating just that little bit quicker. The guy playing catch up somewhat. One ten though, still sufficiently executed. United States ninth, Gilliland and Parato, the new team, just marking out their run. Then we're staying with that same dive. Parato making the calls. They were pretty much in sync going through those rotations. I think it will be the entry position that will decide the quality of the marks. Right to the end of that platform. Nothing back, 70-20. Malaysia will reproduce that same dive. Peng putting down the towel there just to give a little bit of extra grip. ahead at the moment. They made a decent job of that. Shum just a bit quicker through the air. and a couple of eights, 69.30. We'll leave a little bit of uh, room for manoeuvre for those challenging them. Kuchenko and Wu, just out of the medal frame, but not by a huge amount. They have a forward three and a half somersault. Pike, to remind you, just like most of the competitors in this third round. further back from the edge of the platform. Kovchenko, a little bit of a problem with her entry position. It's just falling over a bit with the momentum. 63-90. There. There's a real star in Kazan with her 10 metre triumph. 250 40 so far. 
again attempting the same dive. It's a real zip in their diving, isn't it? They're really rushing to the water in the nicest possible sense. A little bit out of sync on those rotations, but very good entry positions. Both dives do well executed on what a four. Eight, five and a nine from the execution. 79, 20. Laying down the challenge to the Chinese the superstar team of Ren and Si. See the double world champion. Ren, the Olympic champion. Getting an idea quite why they've amassed the highest possible honours. Both planting their feet down perfectly together. Again, really well performed dives. Both eight and a half for execution, 77 40. The best dive of that round of that um, 107B that went down to the North Koreans. Three rounds said in this women's 10 meter synchro. China 3.6 ahead of Koreans with the Malaysians in third place. Canada, United States of America within contention, so too Japan. In fact, in the middle of the pack there, it's very tight indeed. So we go into the fourth of five rounds in the final of the women's 10 meter synchro event. Up there on that platform, Batki and Pelacciani of Italy, who are 10th. After three rounds, five in total, reverse two and a half somersaults, tucked 2.8. looking for a third medal of these championships with two bronzes already down at one meter see the two divers splitting how far out into the pool they were it's one of the planes in which they try to keep together 56 28 is the low part This morning and 11th going into this four with three and a half somersault height that was the dive most teams did in the previous round of course 3.0 with no varying degrees of success it must be said a bit of a difference in just how much of the platform they used before launching themselves out into the air 60. Japan have progressed up to sixth. Arai and Sasaki. 16 and 18. And I, the smaller of the two to the right.
reverse two and a half somersault tucked. All their three chosen dives are 2.8 degree of difficulty. Both emerging and barring and keeping in sync there. A bit better than the dive, in fact, with 52.08 their reward. Great Britain, eighth for the experienced Tonya Couch and the highly promising Lois Toulson, the mixed synchro silver medalist with Matty Lee. Fifth in the Olympic Games in Rio. So they have proven form and they've got three, two, inward three and a half somersault tucked here. the camera just edging out further into the pool there entry a little heavy six and six five for executions 64 32 they would have wanted better Mexico haven't totally got going yet they were down at 58.50 in the previous round. Two three-point-twos left. This is an inward three-and-a-half somersault tucked. Same as the British girls. Again, that's the most popular dive by some way in this round. Again, a slight disparity of just how far out into the pool they come. can be penalised for being too close to the platform. Safety is the first priority, of course, for the divers. There have been some very high-profile crashes on that, which we wouldn't wish on anyone. 71.04. It's a decent ball. Belova and Timoshinina for Russia. Pullover is the younger of the two. Pullover to the left there with a the knee support. There. The disparity in the execution keeps it down to 62.40. The old hand and the new girl. Said with respect, of course, to Megan Benfato, 28 year old, multi medalist, and Kylie Mackay, trying to follow the example of somebody she has been quite open, she's admired through all her career, now her teammate. Same dive again. Out of the tuck, the entries were reasonable. Seventeen point zero eight solid USA in fifth, so. A little bit of ground to make up, but it's fairly tight 
in the middle there. You need to deliver this same dive. No messing about at the top, confidently called. And off they went. Fairly successfully it looked. Just edging the standard a little higher there. Malaysia going well in third place. Kyung and Pang. Both. Olympians, paying the one with the medal hall. Two Olympic medals, three world championship medals. Quick rotations there, a quick entry. Confidently delivered, a positive out in the synchronization there but our slow motion replays absolutely magnify every difference the judges just get the one shout but they're very experienced and 75 84 is a good delivery of that dive dive for Australia. Chinko and Wu on the left there. Chinko's Entry was less clean. Madison Keeney there, gold medalist, saw in the crowd, willing on her teammates. Just could have held that entry position, it would have helped a little, but 69 12 for Australia. Now we're getting down to the really sharp end. Two Kims for the People's Republic of Korea. Second and chasing China hard. Only 3.6 points behind the Chinese leaders. Another good delivery. Very close to that platform. Too much wrong with the entry positions. 75-84. Good return. C now will attack the same dive. Wen Xiang still only 16. Just 14 in Kazan when she won the World Championship silver. hardest act to follow in Chen Raolin. Wu Min Sha, Jin Kai, Chen Raolin all quit the scene at the start of this Olympic cycle. So some pleased to step forward they have done with that 85-44.
That's a big dive and a big score. Class from Ren and C. Four rounds of five in the women's 10 meter synchro final and stretching away at the front, China, then Korea, Malaysia, the Far East doing well, chasing them, the USA and Canada. Great Britain making some progress there, but they're all struggling to match the standards set by the Chinese. performers so far. And China didn't have it their own way last night. How are they going to fare in this synchro final up on the platform? The final round of dives and Italy, Batki and Pelacciani complete their routine with a back two and a half somersault, one and a half twists. That really didn't go to plan, did it? Disappointing end. They struggle to sustain it a little bit. Malachani, the 14-year-old, finding it too easy. Sixes for execution, that was pretty even, 55-68. Needed a stronger finish. Lyulko <laughs> and Liskun from Ukraine. Gun was a world junior silver medalist in the 16 category. Wilco nearest the camera there. A bit of a problem with the entry. And a subdued response from the Ukrainian supporters. Not too much wrong with the tucks. This was the problem there. On the bottom end for Lyulko, the older of the two. It's a tough mark, 47.04 is their final product. Yeah. A good start in the first round. One and a half somersault, two and a half twists. Three position, different dive from the Japanese to conclude. It's a 2.8. It's well performed though. Three 2.8 dives for the two Japanese girls trying to attempt anything that is slightly extending their normal diving scope. Looking up for the marks at the far end of the pool on the giant screens. A reasonable job of that, 64 68, plenty of eights. So, what they did, they did well. It's the end of Allies Championships. Great Britain up to seventh. Couch and Toulson. Another 3.2 back to a half somersault, one and a half twists. 
this is the dive that all the rest of the competitors are finishing up with. Coaches seem a bit happier with that. Be looking to the top half of this finish. Seventy-two ninety-six. Solid. It's their best dive so far of the competition then. few last pointers to go away with. This county's championship over. Mexico next to attempt this same dive. They're down in ninth. Jimenez and Agundez. Coming together for a couple of years now. Jimenez was still diving at World Junior Championship level last year. Tenth in individual 10 metre event, so this is the big step up for her. In her only event. And 71.04, tiny final dive. Last two dives, both getting that same score. and Timoshinina trying to improve on eighth place for Russia. Timoshinina still has the individual and the team events ahead of her. A little bit more conviction about that entry. Slightly differing start positions on the platform there. 68 16 to finish. The highest part. Canada. Rita Bedfato used to being in a medal position by this stage of the competition. Back in fifth with Kylie Mackay. Yeah. Oh, ben Fato will know from uh, experience how much you can pull out the bag with the last dive. So they've given it all they've got there. Respectable entries. Really see the determination on the divers' faces with these excellent replays. 76.80, that's a good finish with eights right across the board. Fortunately, maintain a standard, best of last. Gilliland 
and Jessica Parato in fourth place. About 12 points back on Malaysia. So, got a bit of work to do, depending on what their rivals do. So, we need a high mark here. Don't think that's going to be enough to grab a medal. It has to depend on what their uh, rivals do, of course. You really want to make your own statement, and that wasn't slick enough, I don't think. It was a bit rough at the edges. 67-20. a stronger finish. Now we're down to the medal hopefuls. Malaysia. Pang and Kyung. Plenty of experience, plenty of talent, looking to get a World Championship medal. No major errors, thumbs up was the coach's response. The pressure to play it safe, you could say, but certainly under pressure to make sure there was no major mistakes with the medal within their sight. And they delivered a solid dive with solid eights right across the board. Well done, 76 80. Didn't let the pressure get to them. And that should have done it for them in medal terms, I'm sure. Job is done. Ben Freto with plenty to say down there. Australia back in sixth. Kovchenko Wu. Third dive, 63 90. It's maybe may things started to slip away if they were going to be in medal contention, but let's see how they can finish. up there, the new gold medalist, so good support from teammates there. And that's a strong finish, 74-88. I'll be pleased with that. Silver medal position, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Kim Mi Rae, Kim Koo Hyang. Kim Koo Hyang knows what a massive dive at the end can do. Big gap to pull back. Need their very best here. There have been no major mistakes at all from these two young girls, 16 and 18. Good, solid.
performances all the way, 80-64. Guaranteed silver for them. Malaysia with the bronze. And a significant gap between the two teams, so no arguing about the positions. Stepping forward to claim the crown. Renchian CRG in the lead, one dive to go. Looking to wrap up pole position on the podium. Both proven winners. That will do. No mistakes. Two proven top quality performers doing what they do. Olympic champion in your team and a world champion. It's a pretty formidable combination. And that's what it proved to be right through to the final entry there. They wait for the marks, but they can relax. 83-52, job more than done. Congratulations. World champions, China, have had a fine day. Malaysia look pretty happy with life. And so too will the Koreans from the Democratic People's Republic. Get a bronze. Hang's been there before. Chong delighted, I'm sure. Good competition, but the quality from China was there to see from gun to tape. there. Ren Chan, they give so little away during the competition with their game face on, but now the smiles from these two young girls break out. Siyashi just 18 years of age. Big pressure on these Chinese divers to deliver gold every time they step forward. Second goal of the day for China, Ren Chan and Siyashi simply